Hello, today's video, let's go over how basically I use Google account settings to protect uh, my web activity, my histories, uh, comments, and most importantly, how I tell uh, the Google apps not to track me and show my location information, which is pretty scary that they do that. But uh, if you ever go and travel the country and you make comments and stuff like that, you can you can see uh, your location history, where you made the comments from, or where you looked up stuff, and you can actually see it on the actual Google Maps. It's all tied together. And uh, I don't know, that kind of makes me nervous a little bit, but I don't need that stuff out there. The less people know where you're at, uh, what you're doing, or what you've been doing, the better off you are, I think. But I will say this, having been in high tech, your data is never, ever gone. It is always on the company servers. So say you go into Google and delete your accounts, right? Guess what? That record in the database of your information is still there. The account information is still there with a lot of selectors and um, related columns, hooking together, chaining all your information across the entity relationship database, uh, all they do is there's probably a column in the field. A field no, there's a column in the row saying account active or inactive. And it probably says active false or active no n. And that's it. Everything else is still in their servers. So you never, ever have your data deleted. Just be forewarned in today's world where they go after something you looked at 10 years ago or posted 10 years ago. Guess what? They're going to bring it up. And they're gonna come at you and try to do some stupid stuff, right? I don't. You never know. Just it's just protecting your your breadcrumbs from any kind of identity theft and just any nefarious things. So it's best to be smart. And uh, I also recommend getting a VPN. I won't talk about that here. Look into it. There's a subscription on some of these uh, that basically tells you and protects you from uh, your location as well. Right now, if you go out, you're going to your local ISP hub. And it shows up in your browser. Hey, I'm at this uh, Washington D.C. because I'm two miles outside of Washington D.C. You're, it, it just pinpoints your location as well and makes you known. Uh, yeah. So again, there's ways around for, uh, hiding your location using VPN as well. But this is how you use it on Google. So go into your YouTube. You got your main page. Boom. Go to history. Let's just bust through this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, come on, history, big daddy. And you'll get this page. I already deleted it. I recommend clear all watch history right here. What this is for is YouTube says this is to make your YouTube viewing experience more pleasurable. <laughs> uh, basically, they'll go through all the videos you've been watching and try to serve up using their algorithm, which is just an if then case switch statement. It's not that fancy, right? Uh, they're just searching a database. Oh, this video is like this with these keywords. Therefore, go find similar videos with these keywords. It's not. When they say algorithm, it's not that it's not rocket science, guys. Come on. They say that'll make your viewing experience better. Problem is you go watch a, tur a turtle racing video and next thing you know, you have turtle videos all the way down. Right. And uh, I don't like that. So periodically I'll go in and I'll clear my watch history. Boom, done. And then I stop getting all those recommendations. It sort of works. But the other thing you can do with that as well is go up to your browser and clear all watch history or clear all browsing data and start fresh as well. And I, I recommend that doing that maybe monthly or so, clear all that crap out, uh, just to have a fresh browser, restart your browser and uh, you're, you're clean then. You got the watch history clear as well. So also on here, you got comments for videos you made. You click on that, boom. And I don't, I don't have any, let's see, comments. Let's say I deleted it all. And what you'll see is each comment you made on which video, and you just go through this little X, boom, click, give it some time, takes a second, it's very slow. You're basically sending a, 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 a request to their service to delete that video or that comment on that video, boom, 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 boom. Go through, whack them, get rid of them. You know, come on, you get caught up in a moment making a comment. Nobody cares about your comment. It doesn't give you anything. It's just more of a dopamine hit that you made a comment. Nobody cares about your opinion uh, except you. History again. And then you also have live chat. Same thing. Click on that. You get the same page, but for live chat comments. Again, people get caught up in the moment of the 
conversation and post stuff that yeah maybe you shouldn't have posted if you can discipline yourself just don't post anything online it's not worth it it just doesn't get you anything so anyway but this is for people that do and can't help themselves all right there that's the way to, to flush all that crap out on youtube so what you can now do is let's see you can actually pause the watch history as well uh <clears throat> I've done that, but I do sometimes forget a video I want to rewatch, and it's a pain to kind of search and remember. So I will just uh, do the manual clear all watch history. So when you pause it, you have no history ever recorded. So that's the trade off, right? So, all right, let's go in. Manage all history. You can go in here. It's uh, currently saving my watch history, and it's mainly YouTube right now. But you can do an auto delete as well. The smallest increment is three months. Uh, if you do a pull down right here, boom, it'll go through an auto delete. But I don't trust it. It won't delete your. Um, sometimes it won't delete your comments too. I just like to flush everything. If I, eh, those comments are old. Who cares? Just delete the crap. Nobody gives a crap about your comments. All right, let's go through. There's how you set the auto delete thing, and you can say, oh, don't delete auto, don't auto delete anything. Nah. I would make sure you auto delete. Clean up after yourself. All right, now uh, since you cleaned up your YouTube history, your preferences, you can go into controls and you can see all the settings here as well. You can just turn it off here. YouTube uh, history, just turn it off if you want it off. Like I said, I leave mine on and I will do the manual clearing as I deem fit, maybe monthly or whatever. Uh, let's see, you can here do some settings. I have auto delete on over the three months. I don't trust that. I just want to flush my comments and stuff out. Uh, and again, be disciplined. Don't comment. Nobody cares, right? Nobody cares what you think except you. All right, let's go. There's some ad settings in here. You can play around with that if you want to be not bothered by ads. And there's other ways to get around that as well. All right, go back to history over here. Boom. All right, you can click on this guy. Auto delete again for three months. And here's here's how I get through it. I just start at YouTube and you get to this page, come down. How else can I control my data? All right, you can delete your past activity in multiple ways at myactivity.google.com. You can also opt out of saving future activity or limit the amount of data you save by changing these settings in your Google account. Again, how many people even know this is here? Go to myactivity.google.com. This is a summation. Now we're kind of on the Google page. I kind of, and now we're over here. You can see all my web activity is off. Web and app activity. The activity you keep on Google helps make the services more useful for you, like helping you rediscover the things you search for, read, and watched. You can see and delete your activity using the controls on this page. They always make it sound like they're helping you, and it's like, that's like the government saying, oh, we're gonna make you safe. No, they're, they're just using you, come on. You don't need to track my data, but they do. That's what it's there for, you're the product. So you can go through web activity, click on that, and I just turn it off. The data saved in your account, yeah, same old crap. I uh, just turn it off, web and app activity. Why do, why do they care? Why do, you, why do you want them to know everything you're clicking on and all that stuff? No. So I just turn it off. Does this work? Is this just a placebo to make it me think it's working? I don't know because it's on their server. Whatever you're doing on their server, they're tracking. So there you go. So, but if if you believe it works, turn it off. You don't need them to track your web and app activity. All right, next one. We already talked about YouTube history, and mine's on. I'm going to manually de delete it probably monthly because uh, again, you start beginning. You start getting fed videos you don't really care about anymore because you, again, looked at a, a dancing turtle video now. It's nothing but dancing turtles, and I can't take it anymore. So here we got, the, this is the big daddy. Location history is off. Location history. Repeat after me. Location history. Look at this. Location history saves where you go with your devices. Not just your phone, man. Your devices. So if you have an iPad that doesn't have a cell in it, and you hook into a Wi-Fi, it just picks it up Wi-Fi at Starbucks, they're going to know you went to Starbucks. And your iPad may be sitting in your, your briefcase or in backpack, whatever, you know? And you don't know that. So they know, you, they know where you went with your devices, plural. 
even when you aren't using a specific Google service. Get that? Let that sink in. Yeah. All right. Let's do this again. Saves where you go with your devices, even when you aren't using a specific Google service. Yeah, it gives you a personalized map or personalized maps, recommendations based on places you visited and more. Yeah, that isn't good, man. I don't know about you. Oh, nothing to hide. Well, it's not about nothing to hide. It's like, I like privacy. I don't want some corporation tracking everything I do. And the worst case is feeding me ads, or best case is feeding me ads. Worst case is worse. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, how many people know this is out there? You guys tell me in the comments below. Do you guys know this crap was there that you can disable this? Again, does it actually disable it? I don't know, right? So basically, I have it off and I turned it off December 12th, 2020. I'm not turning that puppy on. Uh, let's see, auto delete not applicable. You have no activity to delete. Turn on location history to choose an auto delete option. All right, so that is the big one I wanted to show you. The um, basically location history is the one that kind of freaked me out. Because you can, uh, let's see. So I clicked on location history. You see what happened here, right? It takes you to a map and it would show me everywhere I've been based on my location history if I had that enabled. Does, I mean, that kind of, that's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So when I found that out four years ago, I said negative, I just disabled that. And uh, yeah, that, that was kind of interesting. So now you can go uh, look at this thing. It says location history is off. Your location is reported by your mobile device and only you can see it. Now, there's so many data breaches now, so many um, uh, cyber attacks that aren't going reported. Yeah, your data is out on the server. They hack it. It's, they're going to say, oh, my God, why is he over uh, in, in uh, California when he said he was here? It's just, it's just, why is it there? You don't need it. Disable it. You don't need people to know where you've been and have it in a database stored. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of Orwellian. So that is the thing. You see how it linked? I clicked, I clicked on that. It went to this map page. That's kind of interesting. And up here, it would show you time timestamps of everything you where you've been <laughs> there i don't know i hope this helps guys let me know if you even knew any of this stuff existed that you could disable it and uh your homework assignment is look up it's called advertiser id on smartphones and that'll freak you out because that's how they track you for advertising on the cell phones and i'll show you in another video how you disable that all right, go forth, do great things. I hope this was useful. If you liked it, you know, do the old thumbs up, give a subscribe, get this little channel growing.